Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for great power and great responsibility? Do you nerd? We all nerd, do we not? <laughs> What do you have for us today, true believer? Well, I have a Spider-Man box from the Gamerverse. Excelsior! Let's see what's in it! Obviously, we have lots of nerdlings that have probably played Spider-Man on PS4. And they're huge Spider-Man fans because of that. Uh, and, you know, all the you know, movies and cartoons and everything else. You have been loving the gamer verse. I have been loving the gamer verse. On the game and the comic and the comics, as well, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So much fun. I love the new suit. I love the new style. I absolutely love the Spider Verse. I love visiting each one of the different Earths, and this one is just as much fun. This is a box that you can pick up at your local Walmart stores or just any store. It's a Culture Fly box. Inside the box, you get one of those 50% off your first order from Culture Fly, so that's always fun. Nice. Yes. The first thing we've got in here, we've got some buttons. Beep, 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 beep. We have that lovely spider, white spider emblem that's on the front of his chest. Nice. I think this is probably my favorite suit he's worn. This, there's something just about that white spider that's the elongated legs. It just looks really bold good. Bold words there. Bold, bold words. And I'm, then, I'm a Fantastic Four baghead man myself. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got the spider head. And I love my buttons, and they're they're a little a little embossed, raised up a little, a little Those are almost a little puffy. Oh my gosh, that was exciting! Love me some buttons. Okay, so the next thing we've got in here are looks like a, a sticker set. Oh, it's not a set. It looked like a set, like all on top yeah, of each other. Yeah, it looked other. like Spider-Man and then his symbol. Yeah, but it looks like we've got Spider-Man with some, like, Spider-Man graffiti behind him, and he's just kind of swinging through New York. So that is a really cool vinyl sticker. I like that. Spider tag, spider tag, put his tags on your grocery bag. That sounds a little more like Miles Morales than Spider-Man. It does. <laughs> it does. Speaking of Miles, it was kind of fun to meet him in the game. Just let me have it. Right on the job. Okay, I can. Do it. Oh, sh sorry. No, no, no. It's all good. You keep that up, and uh, you'll be fine. Just punch Spider Man. The next thing we have in here oh, is another look. notebook set. Stationary. <clears throat> now this one has Empire State. University, New York City, 1865. So it's just a copper, it almost looks like a penny, kind of. Yeah. A little bit, a little penny-esque. And then you open it up and you've got that wonderful spider symbol on the inside. And then just fun blank pages. Now this one doesn't have anything written on the pages on any of the corners. And then you have the ribbon to let you know where you are in your journal so that you can journal it. Well, we do check out a lot of boxes. We unbox a lot of things. So we get very tired of seeing the stationary sets all the time. In all fairness, if you get these very sparingly, yeah. you probably don't have a lot of stationary like we do. So this actually might be a little, you know, a little cooler for you, especially if you're a spider fan. Yeah. It's like, hey, sweet. I got a Spider-Man themed notebook. And you know, in all honesty, if I were more on the creative side of if I were able to draw to save my soul other than a stick figure. I would probably like all of these because then, you know, I've got a notebook I can take around and just sketch when I'm bored mm -hmm. and then have something that keeps them bound up. Let's build a happy little cloud. Let's build some happy little trees. trees. There are no limits here. We start out by believing here. So I do understand why some people do like these. It's just not our thing. <laughs> What's your thing? Bug. The next thing we have in here says Spider-Man Planter. Okay. Because um, he's got a green thumb. I guess. I I might have expected more of a spider mug. <laughs> yep. 
Well, we've got him in his suit on the side here, and then it looks like maybe like a close-up of his suit, would you say, on the side of it? I just don't want to know where that close-up was taken. I don't know. Might not be too bad. We don't really talk about this. There's our Spider-Man planter. <laughs> it's just his head. It that, looks kind of like the cartoon head. Yeah, it? It, it really does. Okay, that's, that's kind of cute. That's kind of neat. Um, <laughs> I don't know that I'll use this as a planter, but uh, this would make great uh, pencil holder. You can put your pens you or go. pencils in here, right or ladies, there. you can put your uh, makeup brushes in here. Even if you wanted to do like more of a Spider-Man themed bathroom, you know, put your toothbrushes Tooth and brush stuff in there. In there. Now, brush comb. since it is a planter, it does have a hole in the bottom of it, so it, you can't double it as a cup unless you're good at plugging holes. So if you can plug up that hole, then you can have a glug glug glug. <laughs> Are we not doing phrasing anymore? We're just done with phrasing, right? That's not a thing anymore. <laughs> I'm sure he's got webbing for that. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, which is the actual reason that I wanted to pick up this box, there is a backpack in here. And oh, you love your totes. I love my totes. Totes my goats. Cool. I so love my totes, and I've already said how much I absolutely love his <laughs> outfit. So, these bags are perfect for traveling with. You can stick them in your pocket, your purse, your backpack, whatever, when you go to conventions. Pull them out, put your merchandise in there, stick it on your back, it's out of the way. Perfect travel totes. And it is that wonderful Spider-Man suit. And then you've got some like bat little things here. You can put maybe your drink in there or just some other stuff. It's funny to note that even though this is just like a typical mesh that you would see pretty much on any bag, the fact that it complements so well to Spider-Man, it, it feels like it's more his webbing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe even his, his webbing under his arms when he's got the web wingies. It just looks so great. I absolutely love these bags. They're so handy. I've got quite a few of them and I, I, I just love to travel with them. And like I said, I'm in love with the symbol, this whole suit, so. And since you like these bags, these strings I always thought this would be very uncomfortable, like it would kind of cut into your arms, but you've never had that happen? I've had it happen a couple of times, but that was just because they were full of comic books, because we were going to a convention and having Colin Bunn sign. I think maybe I have 30 books. So the more weighted the down, more weighted down it, it does can become more uncomfortable. dig in a little bit, but it was just the one time with books. Most of the time okay. with merchandise, it's not usually too bad. Okay. That's and are those thing. the types of strings that will draw it closed yep. on the top? Nice. So you can cinch it closed. Perfect. Nothing real too fun on the inside, just Spider-Man on the inside of the box, and that's about it. How do you feel about boxes like this that, number one, sh kind of show you on the outside what you're giving? It is kind of a bittersweet kind of a thing because it does take away that excitement of, ooh, what's in my box? But I also kind of like it because when you know what's in your box, you know you want to buy it or not. Let's you know if it's exactly. worth your money. Exactly. Well, it lets you know that it's worth the money. So the other thing is you're just seeing a picture. Sometimes when you see the picture, you don't know the quality of what you're That's very there. true. That's a good point. Uh, things like the tote probably aren't conveyed very well on that little picture, mm -hmm. how big and how functional it may be. I will say with this one, the picture on the outside of the box did show one mystery item, and that was the planter. So we didn't <laughs> know about the planter, but we did know about everything else. And follow up. Something like this compared to one of the subscription boxes that you've done in the past. Do you like the one-offs or do you like more the subscription ones that often have a theme? I think it would depend on what the franchise is. Okay. Because like my Wizarding Crate, I love it because I absolutely love anything and everything Wizarding World. If you had like a horror one, that might not be as much fun because there are some horror franchises that you just don't care about, so you're getting stuff you don't like. Fair enough. But I do like these one-offs because then I get to, to go out and just buy it and have it. The other nice thing is, is I can show it to you guys and you can decide if you like it or not, and now you know you didn't miss it. You can go out to the store and actually buy Excellent it. Excellent point. Yeah, because you can see this and think, you know what, I like that stuff. Mm -hmm. Next time I'm at the store, I'm gonna look for it. If they have it, I might grab it. You're sitting here thinking, I was looking at it at the store, I didn't know what that mystery item was, but now that I've watched <laughs> your video and it's a planter, I have to have the planter. I've got this cactus, I don't know where to plant it. <laughs> Spider-Man's head. <laughs> All right, nerdlings, hopefully that mystery box had your spider sense tingling. 
Shut up. Get out. <laughs> okay, I am going to show myself out, but first, please give the video a like if you happen to like it. Leave all of those spider comments down below, unless they're spooky, creepy, crawly spiders. Don't leave those yeah, down I below. Don't like those. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so you can see what we're going to be doing next or where we're going next, true believers. Don't forget to go over to T Public because we've got merchandise over there, and it might just be a little comic book related merchandise on that page. And if we like it, we web sling for it. <laughs>